Today we're making paella. This is one of those recipes that a lot of people are a little intimidated to make, but I guarantee you with these simple steps, you'll be able to make it in no time. So one of the reasons why paella is one of my favorite dishes to make are all the memories I have attached to it. This is actually a recipe that I learned from my mother and I watched her and my aunts making it for friends, for family. Not only that, it's a perfect recipe to impress that special someone or if you have a group of friends coming over, this is exactly what you want to make. Alright, to start our paella, we want to make the broth and that's going to season the rice. And to do this, we're going to be using some shell on de veined raw shrimp. Remove the shell from the shrimp and add that to the chicken stock. One of the main ingredients of paella that gives it that signature paella taste is saffron. Now saffron is actually a reproductive organ of a very beautiful flower and it smells so aromatic and like literally like it just has its own very unique smell and I can't kind of describe it or compare it to anything else but definitely get your hands on some good quality saffron if you're going to be making paella. I'm going to add two pinches of saffron thread to my broth here and that's going to give it not only color but flavor. Bring the broth to a simmer, strain and keep warm until needed. Another star of paella is the smoked Spanish chorizo. I can't tell you how important this is, not only because it adds color, but it just adds such a smoky flavor to the paella and it's insanely good. Using the widest pan that you have available to you or a paella pan, cook the chorizo over medium heat until the oil starts to release. At that point, you wanna add the onions, garlic, tomato paste and cook this out for 30 seconds or so, constantly stirring so you don't burn it. Bomba is the type of rice that's usually used in paella, however it's sometimes hard to find and can be pricey, so I like to use arborio rice instead. Add red pepper flakes for heat, paprika for color. Deglaze the pan with that warm broth we worked on earlier, give it a little bit of a stir, and once it comes to a boil, reduce to the very lowest setting that you have and cover. After 10 minutes, go ahead and add the green peas, add more liquid if needed, and cover again for another 10 to 15. So while my paella cooks, I have a secret confession to make, and that's that every single time I make paella, even though I've done it so many times, there's always a little doubt in the back of my mind, like maybe I'm not doing this right, so I always give my mom a call. So let's see if she picks up. Hi, Mom. Hola. Hi. You're on my YouTube channel right now. Hola, <laughs> so, I'm making paella. Uh, are there any tips that you can give me that I can share with everyone? Yes. First of all, you need to cook with love. Okay? Uh-huh. Yes? Just put it at the end. Don't cook them. Just put it at the end. Okay. Okay, and what else? Save me some, please. Save me some? Okay, I will, mommy. And just subscribe, follow, and share with everybody. Don't forget. So <laughs> it's Kelly. Bye, guys. Thank you, mom. <laughs> so apparently I was supposed to add the peas last. We're just gonna tell her I did. It's all good. Now this is the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and start decorating our paella. So here I have some red bell peppers. These are cooked mussels that I bought from Aldi, or raw shrimp from earlier. You wanna go ahead and season it, salt and pepper. Cover with the lid for a few minutes. Finish with lemon juice and top with parsley. And there you have it, a classic paella from my mom's kitchen to mine and now into your home. I hope you guys are completely in love with it as much as I am and that you're not intimidated to do it at home either. I mean, it looks complicated, but all that you have to remember is about timing, the right ingredients, and putting a lot of love into it. I'll see you next time. Let me know if you make it and tag me so I can see it. Bye. Ugh, can we eat again?